All of our viewers from around the world, we have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Ghana against Ivory Coast. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. And Marty looks it towards the front. Defence can get it clear. Can he score? Same again, same outcome. Well, when you see chance after chance go astray like that, it's only natural to think that it may end up with a little regret here. It's been such a positive start. I think the next step has to involve tucking one away. Dumbia. Sean. Amati. Goes long. Sean desperately wants to get on the end of this. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. And Gassan with a delicate ball. Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attack and strike. It was so direct. Hoofs it forward. It's a long ball. Bailly has given away a free kick. Firmly met. Plays it out to the flank. Here comes another cross. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Asamoah. And back to base. Keeper's got good distance on that. Looks like a good ball through. Managed to get it away. Deftly done. Away from immediate danger. Hit long and direct. Swept in. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Ball. Who's going to get there? Jovino. It's gone for a throw in. Promising cross. Ambitious to say the least. He seemed to be in a hurry to get that in. Time whistle goes. How would you review the first half? Well, Peter, after a really lively opening when we should have had a goal or, or two, it has settled into a, a less ambitious affair, I would say. But I wouldn't be surprised to see the start of the second half full of vigour again. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Ghana. Goal! The second half sparks! Straight into life! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half.
Amati. Amati. Asamoah pumps it upfield. Tries a long pass towards the front. Now it's Dumbia. Coaxed out to the wing. Dumbia. He's gone for it! And that really should have hit the net. Kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Christian Atsu passes it through, looks to slip it through. Ivory Coast have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18 yard box, trying to remove that compactness. out wide but the less said about that pass the better ball's gone out of play tries a through ball and he's there to hoof it away thrust towards the front line Dumbia goes long a real chance to break has he found his man? And needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Tried to play it through. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Dumbia pings it out wide. Tries to stroke it through. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Ayu. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle.